but yeah, that's all it is. It's just it's just a you just have to be one of the first to subscribe on a channel, and then you get that. Uh, I need to make a few adjustments with everything. Let me see here. Otherwise known as the better choice. <laughs> yeah, like, like I said, it's it's you know it's all down to I think I was telling Alka this yesterday. It was, it's all down to personal preference, you know. Again, I personally don't care. You know, um, you know, I feel the love either way. It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Whichever whichever one you think looks better next to your name, you know. Uh, go for that one. Either way, you're showing off, you know? Let, let the plebeians that come in that haven't subbed, let them know. Just be like, hey, see this fancy icon next to my name? Fuck is wrong with you, why don't you have one? Oh, I get it. It's because you're a piece of shit. Then you give him that fucking death stare, you know what I mean? I know there's probably a delay between the audio and uh, the camera. I'm going to fix that here. There we go. Everything should be good now. Yeah, tell them. Tell the plebeians. Let them know. Let those motherfuckers know. What they're missing out on. <laughs> Alright, so I, so just to kind of recap, um, you know, we did get this uh, game courtesy... <laughs> Shout by off. Uh... We do, we do get, we did get this game courtesy of Curve Digital, so thank you to Curve Digital. Now it wasn't we as in Zionami, but we as in the gamers. Have, so one of the sites that I write for, um, I am going to be reviewing this game. This game just came out yesterday, I believe. So, um, so uh, but I figured you know, uh, since it's out, we are allowed to stream it. There's no policy against that. So uh, figured we would check it out together, man. See how it is. I don't know if I want to play the whole thing on stream, but I'll play a decent portion of it and. Um, you know, kind of experience it together and uh, have a have a jolly old time with it, man. You know, see how it is, and then I'll write up my review uh, soon enough. So... Goddamn cavemen. If you really want to fuck with them and really blow their mind, I like to use the word troglodyte, because troglodyte, I believe, is the pure term for caveman. <laughs> if you really want to... If you really want to throw some knowledge on them, I love to... I'm in the business of making people feel stupid. I, I, I love doing that. Anyways, uh, yeah, so this is a Knight's Quest, man. Uh, what is it? Your guess is as good as mine. Um, however, what I could tell right away is that it is, it is basically a Zelda-like uh, game. Um, and uh, so right away I was intrigued by it. It looked cute, too. I like the art style. So, um, not the biggest fan of the name, though. I'm going to tell you right now, A Knight's Quest. I don't know how they got away with that. I feel like there's been a million games called A Knight's Quest. You know, that, that's one of those names, one of those titles you come up with, where it's just like, what do we call this game? I don't fucking know. What's it about? It's a knight on his quest. Okay, A Knight's Quest. That's what the fuck we're... Like, there's not much thought put into it, you know? Um, I hate titles like that, <laughs> personally. Uh, but it's just a title. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll see how the actual game is. Yeah, it sounds like it's very banal, you know, and uh, I just, I'm not the biggest fan of titles like that. I, I always think, you know, because there's been a lot of games with stupid-ass titles like that. I'm just like, why, dude? You know, like, there's one game that's a dungeon crawler. You want to know what it's called? Dungeons. Well, I'm sorry, did the main menu have a main menu? It said, <laughs> press press a button to start the game and now you took me to another main menu that says play and settings all right video's fine but yeah no games like that where it's just like dude like why would you call yourself that you're so like your title is so i don't care how good your game is that title is so fucking boring Switch weapons, switch item. I'm sure we'll learn this as we go, too. Yeah, it looks so crazy. Might just be my monitor, but resolution seems kind of low. I 
I'm going to be heavily critical towards this game just because, um, you know, again, since I since this is a review copy and I do have to review it, um, I am going to be meticulously kind of looking at everything. That's kind of how I do stuff. All right, starting off right here, right away. That's not bad. Can we jump up here? No. All right, that's the. <laughs> there's your classic Zelda roll. It's running okay, I guess. It's definitely sub thirty. Wall run. Oh, wall run. Oh fuck yeah! Never saw that in a Zelda game. Hell yeah! Throw some Mirror's Edge in there. I love Mirror's Edge so much. Oh fuck! I forgot to change the. Uh... Wait, there's a Knight's Quest and there's Knight's Quest. What's the name of this game? Why is there two to this? A knight, a knight's quest. Okay. Apparently, Twitch has got multiple knight's quests. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it's gonna be bully. Don't make, don't make them feel bad. You're more than welcome to fuck around, but don't like, you know, don't start making them cry or anything. You know. What was it like Discovery Fire for the first time? <laughs> You fucking troglodyte. Dude, I've called someone that before and they were so like flummoxed. They were like, they didn't even know how to react. It was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my damn life. I've never been called that before. <laughs> what in the world? Alright, where the fuck are we going? Can I double jump or no? No. Okay. You never know. I, I love double jumps, so I just wanted to make sure. Is this water shallow enough? Because it don't matter. You can jump like a motherfucker. There we go. Now I'm curious. Okay, when you tap B, now if you hold B. Okay, it's the same height either way. Okay, I just gotta make sure. You never know, man. You know, because right now it's seeming more like a platformer. So I just gotta make sure. Um, you know, it's not, uh, you know, on some Mario shit, you know. We have a phone? Rusty. Wow, looks like you were right, Valley. There's a massive cave under these ruins. This is gonna be the one, Rusty. In my valley? According to my research, there's a huge amount of spiritual energy energy up ahead. There must be treasure in there. Spiritual energy. I've been playing a lot of NG, so... Amazing, amazing game. Um, if, if you haven't played NG, uh, it just came out too. Check it out. Um, but if you're not feeling spending that much, at least go pick up Deathmark. Deathmark's pretty cheap now, it's like 20 bucks. So. Get it on Vita, get it on Switch. Get it on everything, that's what I did. I get it on everything, because I'm crazy like that. Oh, bitch, can I help you? Well, I can't go that way, I guess. Like, I don't have a sword or anything. Oh, I guess now I do. You got a wooden sword on a shield. Now, he seems very upset, like... You see his face? You got a wooden sword and shield, now you can attack and defend yourself. Okay, now he's happy. Probably should have brought something like this in the first place. <laughs> that's true, that's what I'm saying. It's textbook edge lord harassing every other classmate and going, I'm doing this just to trigger you guys for my amusement. That's weird. How many hits do you take? Jesus Christ. How do I do it? Wow, if that sound wasn't a fucking Zelda sound. How do I, uh, how do I hold my, so this is, how do I hold my shield up? Oh, okay. Well, whatever, I guess I'm probably going to have an enemy that shoots projectiles or something soon. Hold on, this music, though, is very... It's very good. 
kind of oh shit. It's a little floaty. The it, uh, jumping. Block L. Okay, cool. Oh. Yeah. I'm not gonna have a wooden shield after this, man. This. I, I can't imagine this thing can handle much. So I might have to go up there. Yeah, no, I can't go this way. Can I... Can I jump high enough to reach this? Okay, cool. That was a lever right here. Perfect. <laughs> Even those little segments. This music, though, I'm digging this, man. Oh, my lord. Oh, my lord. Nothing up here. I personally would have hit something here. This is me. What? Man, this music though is fantastic. Oh. Oh. Who's the composer of this? Hey, contact me. Please. Let's work together. This is amazing. First of all, you take way too many goddamn hits. Uh for being a uh, beginner level shit. Maybe I'll get a better sword, I probably will. It's just a wooden sword anyway, so. If I can get something with a little more steel involved, that'd be much appreciated. It's down here. Oh, this is where I initially came from, huh? Or am I crazy? Did I just do a loop to loop? No, maybe not. Lose my mind. Oh, no, 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 no. It's the other side of that bridge. I gotcha. <laughs> oh, this? Yeah, it's called Zolda. <laughs> Breath of the Civilized. <laughs> it kind of has like a Portal Knights type of aesthetic hmm. to it. Huh? Hit that! Oh, bruh! If this isn't a chest, straight and these, they fucking ripped the asset from <laughs> from Zolda. Uh, what's this? A note? This chest must be old. I'm surprised this paper is even intact. What does the note say? Warning: This chest shall grant the power unmanageable. This chest is really amazing. Definitely do not open. Oh well. I don't know. Are you really gonna fucking leave the note? Are you kidding me? You haven't opened the chest yet? Aren't you serious to see what's inside? Open the damn chest. Did they write this beforehand? Like, does the note say this, or is the note actually being typed out as we speak? <laughs> like, it was just like, like it's one of those like choose your own adventure books, or it's just like if you decided not to open it, switch to page twenty-five. Or, did you really not open it? Just, you know. I mean, er. Thou art the hero of destiny, and through thy righteous spirit hath passed mine test of integrity. Open the goddamn chest, and reclaimeth thineth crown, if you fuck. I'm getting some mixed messages here. What do you think, Rusty? But what's the worst that can happen? Let's open her up. Crystal Toe is like it's a pandemic, I know, right? And this motherfucker's gonna come out. Watch, I'm gonna have to like... He's gonna have a big eye. Every Zelda boss, I swear to God, has a massive eye that you have to... That you have to uh, beat the shit out of. Uh-oh. Is that Sub-Zero in that fucking thing? What's wrong with you? You're gonna sneeze? What? Oh, okay. What happened? Are you okay? I'm so confused about his emotions. They don't make any sense. Who is that? Oh, 
Oh shit. I didn't realize. Okay, we're Indiana Jones now. <laughs> this this music though is fucking incredible. It kinda doesn't fit on oh, my lord. Alright, wrong way. Wrong way, go over here. Go over here. Like because like it just seems like a massive epic, you know? But then like you're in this like cute kind of portal knights looking art style. You know. Taken, not that one. Hoo -ah. We're gonna make Faith proud. Hoo -ah. Oh shit. Hoo -ah. Hoo oh my god. Hoo -ah. We're going to him later. Oh shit. <laughs> Walk on, here you go. Oh, go motherfucker, let's go. Is he shaking his ass? So close. Now it's not the time. That was enough. Do I have help? I'm gonna just wait in slow motion. I'm very mad all of a sudden. Okay. Run, bitch, run. Ooh. I don't know where the fuck we're going. Hot. Okay, at least the checkpoint's not too bad. Here. It's pretty good, actually. Where exactly were we going? This? And then we just ride this? Oh shit. You too? Quick. Hoo ah. Hoo ah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yeah, I don't know if you guys know, I was gonna say, I was like, I'm just gonna run ahead, I don't have time to find all of you guys. Like, unless I had, there's like a leveling system, that I'm not gonna waste my time, I'm just gonna keep going. If you're not giving me experience, I'm gone. I'm not that important. Hoorah, hoorah, what the fuck is happening here? Oh my god, mirror's edge. Let's fucking go, make faith proud. Hoorah, hoorah. It's kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. But, too bad. That's awesome. It's a great opening. So what about, uh... Oh, okay, that's what I was gonna ask. I was like, what about the crystal man? That was a really solid opening, I like that. was on purpose yeah i mean it could be it seems like it could just be like satire you know on itself you know watch watch the game be absolutely fucking mind-blowing 
It was a solid opening, though. I, I did appreciate that opening. You know, if anything, it's got kind of like a Wind Waker vibe to it. If anything. Hey, uh. Hey, Rusty. Oh. Hey, Jack. Jack. Was Jack too. too common for you? How could you go swimming at a time like this? You have a nice swim? Huh? Nearly drowned, sir. Uh, uh, no. No, I did not have a nice swim. <laughs> huh. Classic Rusty. Hey, you see that floating crystal? I... I'm gonna be honest with him, I... I think I might have caused it. You? Caused a disaster the likes of which our village has never seen before? Okay, he doesn't believe me. Okay. You don't think I, I can't be... Uh, Nathan Drake? I... I can explain. Classic Rusty. I told you. Didn't I tell you? Well, you buckle up and listen to the morning I just had. This motherfucker's gonna be like, so my wife woke me up at 6am and like... <laughs> I was sitting here, sipping on some milk, when suddenly... Wham! Zoom. Prahom. I spilled my milk, Rusty. It's all gone now. No use crying over it, huh? You saw me cry? I... It wasn't about the milk, I swear. But, uh... That aside, aren't you worried about a big-ass crystal coming out of nowhere? <laughs> you think I wrote this fucking script? Uh, the whole town is is freaking out. This could be the end of days. We could run out of milk. I wasn't expecting them to say big ass crystal. That's amazing. <laughs> run that man. man. This man and his goddamn milk. Look, man. What do you what do you drink? Two percent, one percent. You a uh, you a whole milk type of guy? Ooh, you're probably a skim milk type bitch, aren't you? Ooh, I don't like that shit. I don't fucking like skim milk at all. I'll take almond milk over fucking uh, skim milk any day. Almond, almond milk's pretty, pretty good. Oh, that was incredible. You can do a fucking jump in like... Oh, that's badass. That's clean. It's a shame the resolution's kind of low. I can see this game being very, very pretty on like crisp... Crisp like 1080p if not higher. Uh, graphics. I think I got dementia. The fuck, what is this? No one's here. What? What is this, Pokemon Sword and Shield? What? Hold on. Where are we going? Does this sign have something I can read? Let me see. Biff's big, beautiful boats. It sounds like a weird... It sounds like, it sounds like a DVD you'd find in a sex shop. Yeah, I'm looking for something new, something new. Spice up the bedroom a little bit. Do you know anything that could get me going? Well, I think I find I have just the thing for you. You ever heard of Biff's Big Beautiful Boats? What? No, I've not. <laughs> oh, you can't swim. You're gonna go on a night's... <laughs> oh, I think we just found our first bug. I can't move, it keeps spawning me here in the water where I die. Um... Unsaved progress would be like, you better have a fucking autosave system if I had to go through that opening again. Does it have an autosave system? I don't know. We're about to find out. Ooh, bitch, I'm gonna get real critical on this review. Hold on. We're like 15 minutes into this. And already. Oh, that's a shame. That's a shame. I hope it's got an autosave system or something, man.
But if it's like Zelda, then you'd probably have to manual save. Well, it, the main menu is this, so hopefully it's okay. Play. Okay. We're good. Are you alright? Okay, we just have to do this part again. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, we're good. We're good. That's not that bad. We'll just have to skip this dialogue again. Dude, I've been I've been breaking just about damn near every game I've played uh, in the last week or so. I swear to God, I don't mean to. Let me let me learn how to climb ladders real quick. Is it A? Do you just walk up to it? Do I? Okay, you have to jump into it. That's what I tried to do last time, but. familiar with smite yeah 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 i played i played a little bit i never played too much maybe only about i played maybe an hour of it a long time ago on pc and then when it came out on switch i was like hey let me try it again i played about two hours of it it's fine it's it's not for me it's not for me i um i what is that what is that team high res studios i, I play a lot of paladins though i like paladins Not on Switch, but on PC. Uh, hello, is anyone out there? <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, I thought it was gonna actually. I did download this though. I want to play the fucker. I love anyone. I love racing games so much. So I want to play Asphalt Nine. I, I played a lot of that on my phone, but I want to I want to play it on Switch. Oh, good. Listen, I've been here in a uh, in here a while. Was it all that milk? Uh, yeah, it might be lactose intolerant, I don't know. Regular toilet paper just isn't doing it for me. I want something amazing to wipe with. What is this game? Something soft and silky. What do you want me to give you a cat? Hmm, a cloak should do it. Call of Doom. So... Got a cloak for me. No, I don't. I don't. Uh... But, uh, if I find one, I'll let you know. I'll let you know, do what you can in there, you know. Don't, don't wait on me. You know, because if it gets too dry, yeah, isn't it? you're not gonna, well, we won't go too much into detail, you know what I mean? But still. Hold on, can I see that? Hold on. I did something when I jumped. You kind of, like, float there for a second. Okay, that, that's interesting. I want to see people speedrun this game. I can see this game being e easily, uh... I love finding places to clip. Maybe that's why I break games, even when I don't really, like, mean to. Because I just... Because I, I really do like breaking them. But, uh... Only when it's intentional. So you can do a cool little, like, fast jump to go up here if you spam the jump button. Uh -uh. Why was that so loud? You, you play a lot of asphalt on your phone? Yeah, it's really good. Um, I got it on Switch, though, because I want to know if you can just use a regular controller or if they're still going to do, not touchscreen stuff, but on in TV mode, but, like, if it's more than just two buttons. Because, really, because it's just two buttons on the, on the phone, right? It's just, you have the nitrous, and then you have the little spin. Or the drift, you know, the drift slash spin button, so. Uh, this area's closed off. So, but if I can actually, like, accelerate... ...and drive like I would a normal racing game, that'd be fucking phenomenal. I have a pretty decent garage in my phone. Oh yeah, this resolution's really low, dude. The, uh... Ooh, it dropped significantly too. I don't know if you noticed that. Hold on. It might be kind of hard to tell on the stream. When you're here, it's actually... I don't want to say it's fine, but this is about... Sure as hell in 1080. This is like 720. But when you actually go out into the wilderness here... Oh yeah, right here. It's got a dynamic resolution. You can see my face isn't as clear. It's very blurry. But when I zoom in, it's fine. But at the same distance. Let me see if I can walk forward. See what happens. I 
just want to see the moment it changes. Oh, well. Right there, it's pretty clean though. God damn it. These fucking edges. Yeah, it's much cleaner. It was, uh... Mm. Yeah, once you come out into a big world like this, it looks, uh... Not so good. Wait, I, my, my fucking... Hold on. Where should I be going? There's a door symbol. Here, should I be going? Let me go towards there. Let me go towards whatever this door symbol is. Mm -hmm. Shattered a mountain. Nearly drowned. Summon a floating <laughs> crystal. Oh shit, be cool, Rusty. It's not like anyone knows you're responsible for any of this. Everyone stay calm. As your mayor, I assure you that we are doing everything possible to kill the giant purple crystal in the sky. What? Oh god, the crystal is alive? Whoa. Have no fear, my citizens. I consulted the finest necro baristers in the land, and they've informed me that the dead people have no rights. With a little teamwork, we can stab them with pitchforks and be done with the whole mess in no time. Whoa. I love pitchforks. Hey. I love stabbing the undead. That's something you've done before. Ah. But what about the crystal? Yeah. Finally, a use for all those pitchforks I wasted our budget on. Hey! <laughs> I have a plan. Oh, she's cute. That better involve pitchforks. <laughs> and what is your definitely pitchfork-related plan, Valley? Oh! Oh, that's Valley. Okay, so I'm not Valley. I'm I'm Rusty. Whatever's happening here is more powerful than any of us can imagine. That crystal is generating enough spared energy to destroy the whole kingdom. We should call on the Guardians for help. It's pretty much their only job to keep our world safe. Yay! That's brilliant. Oh. Well done. Really? Great. Should be hard to find the Guardians. Rusty and I can get started, right? Uh, uh. Guardians. Since when have the Guardians helped anyone but themselves? No, 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 no. I'm thinking the Spirit Knights. Huh? Spirit Knights? The fuck? That's just a fucking fairy. Uh. Gather around, everyone, and listen to the tale. Of the spirit knights, the three strongest warriors in the whole kingdom of Regalia. Regalia. Rega what the fuck have I heard that before? Isn't that Final Fantasy? Actually, that's the car that they drive, yeah? In 15? Oh yeah, that's the car that they drive in Final Fantasy. First, there was Henry. Oh wow, yeah, this is the Spirit Knight of the Wind. He's even wearing fucking green, and he's got yellow hair or blonde hair. You know what I mean? Blessed by the wind and sky, he could breeze through any situation. Legends say he once saved an entire village of orphans from a raging fire using only his pecs. Next was Rocky, the rock man. The spirit knight of fire. Of fuck. He wouldn't be of earth? Okay. He was a martial arts master, fast and furious like a raging fire. Smoldering with the heat of a thousand suns, he could unleash devastating strikes at blazing speeds. The tri velocity of power. Finally, Ivan the Ice Bro. The Spirit Knight of Ice. Oh, he's not the Spirit Knight of Earth or Fire. Cool and strong as an cool and strong as ancient ice. He was unstoppable. It's said that nothing could crack through that thick, frozen skin of his. He was the bad boy of the group. Together they formed the Spirit Knights, watching over us all from icy mountain to fiery desert to gusty forest. Huh? How many people fell asleep? That's the legend, my dear. 
And as we all know, legends are basically facts to be taken at face value. Does that answer your question? I didn't ask a question. Good. Well, since there's no further questions, you and Rusty make yourselves useful for once, and you find the Spirit Knights. And make sure you find all three. They form a forceful trifecta. I had something for this. Right. Rusty. I'm sure he's around somewhere. What are you talking about? He's right there. <laughs> of course. I knew he was here, not somewhere, not here, because then he wouldn't be here, which he, of course, is... <clears throat> anyway, if there are any objections, me and the chorus. Okay. You shall continue with the horrible zeta. I mean, clearly, you should. On the light laptops by the night. I appreciate that this game. This game. I mean, this game clearly doesn't take itself seriously. So I appreciate that. I, it, it it's very well aware of how much Zelda influence it has. You know, it's not one of those games like we were inspired by. Were you inspired by, or did you just hit Control C, Control V? Because let's be honest here. But this one is clearly like. You know. Oh, a, a parody of sorts. I appreciate it though. It's nice. Uh -uh. Sorry, kid, this area is closed off. I guess once we get. we defeat a couple of dungeons, we can go and access certain areas right here. You know, if you get some bolt cutters, all I'm saying is. Uh, we'll cut this shit in half. You don't have to worry about that shit. Where should we go up here? Can I meet with Volley? Volley's kind of cute, man. It's not a lie. Where is she? Over here, she got the purple hair too, man. I've always loved purple hair, man. Uh, can't talk to you. What am I doing then? Should I? I can't go up here. Who? Guess we'll go down here. Wait, where's the? Uh, there's a yellow. Okay, I should be down there. Gotcha. Quest slash map. Press the inventory button to view the map and see all regions you've explored, as well as available quests. Uh, Regalia, Port City, Call of Duty. It's my only quest at the moment. Easy access to the sea and the abundant natural minerals combined to make Port City the largest city in Regalia. The kings and queens moved here nearly two centuries ago, partly because they liked the sea air. And what is this? Can you manually save or no? Thankfully, it seems like that there is an autosave system, but I just want to make sure. I like to autosave as well, but both is ideal. Except. Activate quest. All right, is that it? Oh, I can't go that way. This game would actually like really be like really pretty if it was wasn't so fucking no res, man. Trotus isn't that good either. Should I be going in here? I guess so. The yellow markers in here. Huh? Rusty. There you go. Hey, hey. I'm all alone. That's all I'm saying. I was worried about you. I lost your signal just in that explosion. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine, just a uh, little, little bump on the old noggin. Well, wow, just the res just dropped. Well, good, because we don't have any time to waste. The mayor's idea is a wild goose chase. You must think we know something, or know nothing about the spirit knights to leave out the most important part of the legend. <laughs> I know, right? Who doesn't know the most, th the most important thing about the spirit knights? Hey! I mean, come on. The most important thing is... Nah. The most important part is that the Spirit Knights were chosen specifically by the Guardians. That was going to be my next guess. 
It might be an important piece of the puzzle, though not for the reason the mayor thinks. If we... Can't see what that little Ezra is. If we have to find the spirit knights, then the closest place to start is the Forgotten Temple. Right, the Forgotten Temple, which is in the direction of... It's west, Rusty. If you would let me finish, then you'd know that I was going to say it's west. Be careful, Rusty. It's been a long time since anyone went inside the Forgotten Temple. It's easy to forget how dangerous it is. Well, you know, considering it's the Forgotten Temple. I guess that's why it's not called the memorably safe temple. <sighs> the amount of uh -huh. dad jokes in, uh, in this game. Head west to the Forgotten Temple. In the meantime, I'm going to do some more research into the Spirit Knights. I'll be in contact with you over your headphones. Well, I'm gonna go here because the yellow symbol points here. Uh, is this a forgotten temple? We were here? You're telling me to go east, but we were here. I don't know if it is, though, we're about to find out. Field. Well, it's a temple field. Maybe it's over here. Who knows? What, are they grow. They grow temples here. Is that what the crops? Uh, crops are for. So is that a high roll field? It's a temple field. <laughs> you got the skellies. Is that the boss key up there? shows nearby areas as well as your current active quest, except... Can I, can I be honest with you guys? I already forgot if she said east or west. I got one dingle fruit. Awesome. Word? I don't know what that does. What is this? A dog or a bunny? What is this? What are you? Oh, word? Do you want to come with me? Can I pick you up? Hey. Hey. Come here. Come here, you son of a bitch. I want to... Skull kid? Oh, word. Nice. Thanks for the heads up on that. Okay, well don't go in the water. I don't want to have some, like, infinitely spawn in the water type shit again. Um... What are you, a Pokemon? How many hits do you take? Got one duty. Gnarly. What the fuck am I gonna do with this? Ghibli movie night? You know, my 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 local theaters actually have something like that. They're, they're doing uh, every month, well not every month, but most months this year, uh, they're having uh, one Ghibli movie. Since it's like, what, 20th anniversary? 25th anniversary of something like that? Well, Statue Studio Ghibli's been around much longer than that. Um, I, I don't know, they're doing some type of event. I think it's just a Ghibli Fest type thing. And, uh... So they're playing various movies at the moment. Um, at my local theater. Many theaters, actually, but the one that I go to, I know for a fact, is doing it. Um, alright, what, what are we doing? Should I talk to this person here? Who, who are you? What type of fucking outfit is this? You're like, did you get the fire flower? What the hell's wrong with you? I don't know. Whatever, let's just... Where should we be going up there? This is where we need to go, Regalia Port? No. Spirit of the Wind. I don't think I should go there. I need to find the Forgotten Temple. Oh, this is the Forgotten Temple. Okay. Bitch, I already hit accept. Activate quest. Is that what the yellow is? Okay. I'll just follow the yellow. We'll go this way. What, uh, what Ghibli movie is he watching? 
I don't think they've done it yet. I want to go to the one that has Kiki's Delivery Service. I love Kiki's Delivery Service. I actually have a pair of uh, sweats, uh, sweatpants that have a... Uh, that's Woo! Kiki's Delivery Service uh, themed. Using items. Usable items are shown on the bottom left. Scroll through the, uh, them with the swap item button and then use them with the use item button word. So I can... If I go to the Call of Duty guy and give him more duty for his duty. Just some food for thought. Saving game. Is this a Forgotten Temple? Before I progress. West Castle Ruins. Well, it's on the way to the Forgotten Temple anyways. So. Permanent damage. Some damage can inflict lasting damage, uh, reducing the size of Rusty's health bar. Use bandages to heal it back again. Word? And, and where would one go about getting a bandage for the damage? Do they just. Uh, drop from enemies you kill. One goo, two beer. What's going on? Need to. Oh fuck! Hey, that was cheap. Hold on, give me a second. Give me, give me a second. This motherfucker just do the Gundam style. Uh, dance. Like this motherfucker just taunted me. Look at this. <laughs> He's son of a bitch. It's a cute game. I, I, I actually like. I just mean I wish it looked better. Like it, it technically looks good from an you know from an artistic direction, but and you can you can see where the sacrifices are made. Then. The dark enemies, dark enemies are very powerful. Try coming back when you're better equipped. They'll do. I will leave that motherfucker be. Like, I don't think I'm gonna be able to accomplish much with a fucking wooden sword and a wooden shield. How are you? All right, let me let me take it easy with just the uh, all the. Enemies or snakes. We don't actually have to do that. I'm just trying to go to the Forgotten Temple. What is it? Hold on, I want to get that. What is that? What happened there? Huh? Oh. Was there more? A weird place to hide. Wait, I didn't know what I was doing. Give me a second. No, you son of a bitch. Did it show back up? Okay, good. Oh, that's a big boy right there. I don't know if I can handle him right now. It's 
so there's six. I heard one, two, three, four, five, six. Let me go this way first. That was a good jump. How was that so? Doing alright? Okay, here we go. It hasn't double timed yet. There we go. Very good. Alright, do we get a bandage in there? Get this person first. How do I open this? Word? I don't know what that does for us, but word. I'm excited. I feel like, unless I'm going crazy, I feel like the game might be a little bit loud, yeah? The sound of the voice can stay up. It's primarily the music that's. At least there's not contact damage. There's nothing I hate more than contact damage. Sometimes it makes sense, but in a game like this where the combat isn't as refined as something you'd see in a bigger game like Zelda, you know? I'm glad they didn't have anything like that. This is a forgotten, uh, forgotten template. We're at the forgotten template. Here we go. And I can hear Shinova. One stun bomb, dude. Nice. What about this? He just punches it. He's like, dude, I got no time to move this. Orb crystals. Strong energy is emanating. No, I know, I know what this is for. We're probably going to find another thing like this, another warp aspect, so... First of all, are you kidding me with this music? This is fantastic. I've been saying that since the game started. Why are you upside down? Uh, huh? What arm? Whose arm? I don't have any arms. I... Hold <laughs> It's like some Banjo-Kazooie shit. Uh, I must have that arm. Backflip for style. <laughs> Bro, this is my arm. I, I need it. Weapon power-up. Multiple power up, sorry, power up your weapons by landing multiple attacks without getting hit. Gaining extreme power for a few moments. Parries and perfectly timed dodges power it up much quicker. Okay. 
What's going on, Aka? That, uh, that founder's badge is looking real good on you. Real, real good. What's down here? Death. That's what's down there. God, music is so good. Am I supposed to fight him or something? Hard of hard of hard. Sorry, arm stranger. I should not have demanded that you give me your arm. It was rude and boorish and other adjectives. I'm just a little frazzled. I was meditating in the forgotten temple when I felt a huge quake. Before I knew what was happening, horrible monsters had overtaken the temple. So I got out while the getting was good. But there's still someone trapped in there. Are you here to help? Oh, look, man, I'm just looking for the fucking spirit. Nice. You know? uh, <laughs> that's a good one. Hold on. Uh, spirit knights, you say? Hold on. Tell you what, hold on. I'll make a deal with you, arm strange. Hold on. You see that driftwood on your back? On this? This is my wagon stick. My wagon. Well, lucky for you. I think it's time for an upgrade. I found this sword and shield in the Forgotten Temple. I'll trade them for your whacking stick. Metal weapons are too heavy for me. What with these noodle arms? So you take them. You'll need them if you're heading deeper into the temple. You got the spirit sword and shield. This is one of the divine weapons. Your attack power has now increased. Word. With these, you can cast powerful wind magic. Word. Do I have a limit on my mana? Or can I just spam the fuck out? Oh, you can hold it. And then... Oh, that's fucking cool. Who the... Howl's Moving Castle, that's a good one. going on gaming trophy yeah of course I remember <laughs> welcome welcome hope you've been well Did you just vomit you okay you want some tums so that's it you're taking the sword and just leave me isn't that what you wanted me to do not even a thank you I should call this place the temple of forgotten manners <laughs> wait Something's not right. I'll go, go on the monsters. Show me what you can do, my friend. Oh, look at this fucking Devil May Cry looking ass shit where they got the fucking. Oh. Wait, 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 oh shit. How do you properly dodge? Is it you just do the roll mechanic? Is that it? And then, like, to parry. He's got a shield up, and yet somehow I'm still taking the march. I guess I wanted to practice that stuff. Wait, that arm of yours. I think I've got an idea. All your ideas seem to involve me parting with my arm at some point. Not this would it. Did you ever, I don't know, try casting a tornado out of it? How the fuck do I do that shit? Not one, but two question marks on that. Magic projectile, wind, ZR, you have gained a spirit charge. Press the ma the magic button to consume a spirit charge and fire off a gust of wind. I will accept that. What the fuck was that? Oh, that was kind of cool. I, I missed, but... All right. Who, uh... Accomplished nothing. Put, 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 three. Oh, they kind of auto follow. This man is mad. He's mad. Someone, someone stepped on his shoes. Those are brand new shoes too. No worries, gaming trove. Take care. Appreciate you stopping by.
Thanks again for saving my big hood, arm friend. You're tougher than you look. Now go help the guy trapped in the temple of the hall. How do you know he needs help? He, uh... No longer has a sword or shield. Uh, there's no time to explain. You've got to help him. Is it because I have his sword and shield? Is that why? Right, this mute. This fucking music. Oh my lord. It's so good. Uh, making me want to play piano, man. You know, I know how to play piano, I just never owned one myself. I've owned plenty of keyboards, but not like an actual grand piano. Got one dingle fruit. Tubular. Alright, I'm running pretty low on uh, health. But I don't have any bandages that they were telling me to get. Or do I? What is all this? Oh, I do have a bandage. When the fuck did I get this? Repair some lasting damage. This can patch me up, but it's slow. Best to use it out of combat. Word? Use it. I can't use it. it. Can be sold for a low price. Throw to slow enemy movement and all that stuff. Can be sold for a very low price. I don't even know why this is a thing. Slowly heal a little health, oh word. Throw to stun enemies in a small area. Can be sold for a very low price. Stay hey, where's all that? Oh, okay, I see you. Okay, here's, here's the montage. Um, how do I go about using it? Am I doing it? Yeah, I am. Okay. That... That didn't do anything. That's enough. Might... Oh, you probably want me to use the tornado on this. Nice. Valley, I just shot uh, wind out of my metal arm. Is that normal? No, Rusty, that's not normal at all. Uh, how, did, how the fuck you manage that? Uh, well, a crazy old man in a mask gave me a sword and shield uh, and told me to shoot a tornado out of my arm. Very funny. Goodbye, Rusty. Bye bye, dude. Oh, not one of the. Wait, what? I guess that comes up. <laughs> kind of far. Oh shit. <laughs> Try that again. <laughs> hoo -ah. hoo -ah. There we go. That effect on. Charge up attack. I'll hold down the attack button to charge up a powerful attack that consumes spirit energy because charge longer to consume more spirit. For an even stronger attack. Work. Oh. I need, I need to get closer there. Okay. Can, can I grab this? Bitch, can I fucking grab this? Oh, hold on, I guess we. Kill him first, I guess. Can I grab this now? Press an A. There we go. Oh my god, this music. Are you kidding me with this music? Hey, how are you? Is that a fairy? What is that? Oh, uh, it's one of the lanterns. Think? What is this? Really? Okay, 
guess we go the other way around. Wait, I can't. Can I... that from here? Yes, I can. Maybe we'll try that instead. Quicker that way. Ooh, uh. Ooh, uh. What? <sighs> he got a pass here. <laughs> you were readying up. I can, I can see you already, just being like, ah, all right, let me, whew, let me, let me get these, let me get these fingers ready for this keyboard. This keyboard's not gonna know what hit. But I get fucking real. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Precisely. Now, can I do this cool little who? Uh, I was gonna see if I could do a little bit of that, but nope. I'm gonna have to come back and do that. I'm, gonna, I'm wasting time at this point. I don't wanna waste too much time on that. Just for your mega typo, yeah. Magic and water. Rusty's equipment is not waterproof. He can still perform most action actions, but any magical abilities won't work in water. Really? Oh yeah, sure enough. You bitch, what is it with you and water? Like Assassin's Creed One, I'm always dude. I got like PTSD from Assassin's Creed One, man. The uh, Assassin's Creed One, like you could do all these amazing things. You were an assassin, right? But God forbid you stepped in a fucking puddle, you would die immediately. That shit always made me laugh in the earlier GTA games too, Grand Theft Auto. What is this? Thing? Ah, opening up another uh, thing there. I see. Do I have to keep hitting? It? No, it, it's at its max. If you want to go on a fucking dancing contest, we can do that, man. Can I jump and no, I cannot. I need to get on a. Actually, you know what? Punch the shit out of that. Do your little. Do your best uh, Chris Redfield impression. And, uh. There we go. Perfect. Wait, where are the other ones at? Uh. Oh, there's one up there. Oh shit, that's high as fuck. How do I get up there? Can I move this anywhere else, or was that just for that? Yeah, that was just for that. There's another one there. Hmm. Guess we'll figure it out. How you doing? Here. A little bit of this. They're making Minecraft-themed ads? You know, I could... Minecraft is one of those games that I really wish I could get into because I see the appeal, I really do. But I, I, I can't. I cannot. I've tried so many times on so many different systems, dude. And I came to the conclusion that, dude, like if if a Vita, if me playing on the Vita couldn't even get me into it because I fucking love my Vita, um, it's just kind of a lost cause at that point. Um, Okay, I know how to get up there. I think it's just because it doesn't really have a story. You know, they just drop you in and I just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. 
You know, I feel like I'm like, oh shit, I'm about to fucking die, I just realized. That's, that's fine. And like, I just genuinely have no fucking idea. Like, how the fuck to play that game. No matter what I do, I've spent hours on that game too. Matter of fact, I'm, oh shit, that must have hurt. The most recent time I spent on that game was, uh... A little over a month ago, so it was pretty recently. After like not playing it for like, after well, not attempting it again. Uh, I don't even want to say playing after not attempting it for the millionth time. Uh, about two years ago, and yeah, more like a year ago, and um, and because it's on Xbox Game Pass, so I was just like, "Fuck it, man, let me download it again." <laughs> and uh, yeah, again, it just. Didn't click with me, man. I just I played for like four or five four or five hours too. You know, I didn't necessarily have a bad time with it, but you know, it wasn't something I saw myself really investing a lot of time into. Um how do you how do you propose? I jump up there. Oh my god, this fucking music. What the shit, dude? Oh my lord. Can I jump that high? I mean, I can't. I mean, I know that I'm pretty floaty, but I can't. What am I missing? I got all of them, right? What was that? I got that one? What am I missing? Oh, you. I need to hit. I haven't hit you yet. Can I reach you from here? No? No, I hit you. So I need to go there. Did I hit that one? Let me let me drop down. Oh, there's no fall damage, okay. I guess I did not hit this one. Okay, I did not hit that one. Oops. in the Minecraft AR thing that's coming out though. Actually, isn't it already out? Praising them? Oh, yeah, I mean, I didn't know if you were praising them. I, th I thought you were just mentioning it. I, uh... Yeah, I don't know. I just, I can't... can't fucking get into Minecraft, man, no matter what. I haven't played the Switch version, but I don't see a reason to. It wouldn't change. It doesn't matter what platform I play it on, it's just I can't click with it. But at the same time, I'm like over it too. I'm like, please just leave it alone. You know, I see Minecraft everywhere and I'm just like, dude, like I... I don't know, man. Because uh, so many hundreds of thousands of incredible games out there, people always... See those people who like only play Minecraft and I'm just like, what are you doing? I feel like there probably could have been a way. Like, what's stopping me? There's gotta be a way to skip this. Is it possible when you're up there to jump onto this tree? I wanna see something.
Like, I know it's just probably a stupid thing to do and look at, but... <laughs> Jack and or Daxtor. It's close. It's close. Oh, no, because these are... 2D. Well, no, just that little branch is, actually. It's close to it. Actually, it was... It's actually, uh... It's actually Zoldo. Uh, coined by Supra, Zoldo. Uh, Breath of the Civilized. I don't know. I'm not here to speedrun this, I'm just... Not at the moment, anyways. Maybe some other time. I'll figure it out. I'll keep playing through all areas and figure it out at some point. Alright, let's let's just go ahead and uh, progress, shall we? Janky, yeah, it's a uh, oh, it's a uh, it's a Zelda-like. Can I even jump up here? There we go. It's a Zelda-like game. It's an indie game. It's a game called uh, A Knight's Quest, and it just came out yesterday, I think. But yeah, it's... You know, it's not super duper polished, but... Yeah, I take it for what it is. It's, it's fine. It's fine so far. I'm liking it. The music's fantastic, though. Um, yeah, the reason why we're playing it, though, is because we... Uh, Curve Digital was nice enough to... Uh, send us a review copy of it, so, and I figured, uh, you know, we would play it, check it out together. You know, since it's, since it's technically out already, you know, there's no, like, policy against... What does that sound? Oh, it's these motherfuckers. There's no policy against streaming it, so... Figured out we would just take a look at it. Play through it together. Ukulele. <laughs> Wants the shaders back. Ukulele <laughs> was unfortunate. It wasn't bad, but it certainly didn't live up to, um, you know, especially what that team is comprised of, like X Rare developers. Um, it just it was very underwhelming. That game. Lot block and press the parry button uh, for an attack to parry it. Oh, so A is the parry button. Uh, are you sure about that? Oh shit. Are you sure A is the... Okay. So it is A, it's just not very... responsive. Yeah, I'm, I'm being particularly critical with this game as well, just because since I uh, since I do have to review it, I am like kind of meticulously looking at every single little thing. So if you don't see me, you know, if it doesn't seem like I'm, I'm not going as fast as I could through these dungeons or just playing the game in general, it's because, you know, well, you know why. I'm, I'm taking the time to look around and really take everything in. Uh, one thing I noticed right away is when we started the game was it's not as bad now, but there is a weird dynamic resolution. The resolution, first of all, is very low. Um, but in the really open areas, oof, oof, it gets bad. Problem is, uh, collect the thons are only good. Teenager kills, there's nothing better to do than to explore. I don't mind them, but the problem is they're not as rewarding as they used to be. Um, and I especially don't really like them on Switch just because of the lack of achievements or trophies. At least that gives you a little bit more of an incentive, you know? Oh fuck, okay, so we can't hit that. But, uh... But yeah, on Switch, I'm just like, once I beat the game, I'm fucking moving on. <laughs> Unless I really, really enjoy it, and it's like right there. Like, I collected everything with Poi. Poi was a really... You want to talk about janky. 
Koi was a really janky uh, um, uh, kind of homage to Super Mario 64. And uh, I loved it, man. Honestly, I, it was it was the ending pissed me off. Not because it was a bad ending, but just because of the that the platforming was so janky that this level was so. I feel like it was a lot more advanced than what the mechanics were built around, <laughs> you know. And it just didn't work, so it was very frustrating. Um, but yeah, but it wasn't a bad game by any means, you know. Again, as someone. Super Mario 64 is my favorite game, so, uh, you know, for what it was, I I enjoyed it. Um, but man, was that game just a janky mess, but uh, like I said, uh, I, I did end up beating that game 100%. I got the all the collectibles and stuff like that. Uh, gonna go full Conqueror's Bath for a day with the rest of the game. It, it kind of has that vibe, interestingly enough, so one of the reasons why... I'm actually liking this game is because it doesn't it's not taking itself seriously at all there's been a lot of references a lot of stupid dad jokes and stuff like that and um, um, it doesn't take itself seriously so it, it, it's very much aware that it's very inspired by Zelda and I appreciate that and um, yeah the comedy is kind of ridiculous But I, I appreciate that it's like satire, but I, like I said, it doesn't take itself seriously. But yeah, we're gonna play this for a little bit, and then probably in uh, maybe an hour or two, we'll start Here They Lie, which will be our horror game for the night. Fruit. Awesome. Um, what did they say earlier? Yeah, they was it was like they did their version of like the Triforce and shit. It was so ridiculous, man. They, so absurd. But this music, though, what the fuck, dude? I'm spamming the fuck out of A. I'm telling you. There we go. Yeah, you notice how it does that slow motion shit, like Breath of the Wild. Oh god. Oh, I want that. How the fuck do I get that? It's kind of in an inconvenient location. I'm not gonna be able to make that jump, I don't think. Just to be safe, let me jump here. Jump here. Sound direction quality doesn't match everything else. I know, right? It's super weird, man. It's- I said that earlier. You know, not verbatim, but I-, I it, you know. It, it's a similar thing earlier. I was like, it's so- I like- like, the, the opening sequence what had this epic music and I was like dude this music is so fantastic but it does not match like what's going on it sounds like something you would hear in like an like an epic you know like a fantasy epic or something oh no that was terrible oh did I die die okay that was weird uh, we also ran into one bug earlier um, where we jumped into the water and it kept spying us in the water. Now the water does kill you. So we kept... I have to do this again. You fucking kidding me? <laughs> so we kept, uh... We kept dying right away, because every time it would respawn us, it was right back where we died. <laughs> I had to do a hard reset. Or not a hard reset, sorry, but a soft reset. Oh, fuck me. I gotta do all this again. Let me, uh... At least we know what to do. Whimsy serious adventure? Yeah. Yeah, 
dude's got the chops, man. I mean, this that's what I was saying earlier. I was like, I want to know who this composer is. Because what the fuck, I didn't even move. We already hit that earlier. Fuck, man. I gotta do this again. I mean, it's not difficult, but... It's just annoying that I have to do it. Yeah, brass section would fit this game. Something that has a little more... Not necessarily charm, but I guess something that's a little more fun, I guess. You know, play, playful. Playful. That's, that's the word. Playful. Bring this all the way back here, that's right. Closer to Fable than Skyrim. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you should have seen the opening sequence, though. The opening sequence, man, had like... <laughs> swear to God. It just it did not match up. It was great. I mean, the music was fantastic, but I was like... This just... It's... It's... just doesn't match. You know, like the theme is there. The theme matches in being this, you know, adventuresque thing, but it's too. It doesn't fit the, the art direction. Doesn't fit the music direction. You know. But this is stunning, though. Like what's playing right now? Oh my god! Are you fucking kidding me? If I die again, so help me God. I don't wanna I don't wanna do this again. Hundred percent straight, yeah, true. Yeah, but you know how it is with Zelda though. Nintendo always ensures that Zelda like has like I mean Zelda is I mean, you want to talk about it. Zelda kind of sets the template of like what quality is, what quality control is, what quality as a package is, you know, and why that brand and that name alone has meant so much to so many people and comes with a. The name itself ensures quality, you know, more often than not. Not always, you know, I mean, you know. You know, things like Triforce Heroes exist. But, for the most part. There's some drums, yeah. You can definitely add a lot more to make this a lot more lively. I mean, not that it's... I mean, this is stunning in its own way, but yeah, no, it's... It doesn't really fit, you know? Like, I love it. I love that it exists, but... I don't know if it should exist for this game. Yeah. This is something that I think would fit more in, uh... I don't know if you guys are familiar with a game called Yonder. Yonder! This would fit in Yonder. Oh my god, dude. If you haven't played Yonder... Holy shit. You want something that's relaxing? Play, what the fuck? That little, that little sequence of notes there. Oh my god! That dun 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 dun. Oh my god, dude! Are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? Ah, oh, stunning. Like this honestly sounds like something you would hear. Yeah, and like, or even Dragon Age, you know? Like you're, you just, right when you just go into a new town, you know, and then someone's just over there, like, you know, just asking you to do some stupid fucking fetch quest. My dog ran away. Could you find him for me? I'll give you 20 gold. His name is Billy. He's got a black mark in his eye, right there. Could you find him for me? 
That, that's what it sounds like. You know, Some, something relaxing like that. Before you go into the big shit. Yeah. Someone ripped off of Majora's Mask except by Mil Vizek, yeah. But that, that, I mean, am I, am I, am I wrong though? It just, it does sound like that to me. Where's that thing lead? Can I? Oh, that's what, wait, what? Oh, cause that's the other side. Oh, bitch ass. Okay, so I can do this here, jump there. Oh, is that worth it though? We're about to find out. That's how you got that. So I was doing it wrong the whole time. Who, uh. Bitch. Oh, that was a lot of money. There we go. Let's whip once more brass, yeah. More cowbell. Oh, you know what? Fuck the cowbell. We need the triangle. That's what we need. That little steel triangle piece of shit that just... Xylophones, yeah. Oh my god! Oh, thank god you grabbed that. I wasn't expecting them to grab that. I thought it was just ledges for, like, rocks and stuff. I felt- I thought- I was under the impression this would be... ...too, like, thin or something, so, like, the way it was coated. Just because the way the game plays, I was expecting not to grab that. Uh, I don't- I don't need that shit. I'm gonna move on. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you guys again. I'm just moving on. It's not like you get experience in this game anyway, so... There's no point in moving on. Yeah, yeah. I can't grab that when I'm in battle, apparently. So it auto prairies, oh fuck me. If you're able to get it the first time and then you don't have to do it after that. But the timing's really fucking weird on the parries. One duty. Keep giving me all this shit, literally. And it only sells, you only, only, only thing you can do with it is sell it. It only sells for one gold. And, uh, that's just not worth the time or effort. <laughs> and what do you do? Okay. That big old ring right there. Looks like it'd be a boss area to me. What is this? Oh, I'm back here. Why am I back here? I should probably go this way then. I missed him completely. I didn't realize he could get stunned. It's a new thing. Okay, he hits hard like a motherfucker. There we go, stun you right back, son. There's no AOE on that apparently. Here you are. There we go. Motherfucker shaking his ass at me. What did I get? You got super excited. But somehow he can. Turn my lights on here in a second. Oh, 
What does this do? Is it no? Okay. I need you. Can I reach that? Maybe. Oh shit. Did I just catch fire? What the hell just happened? Oh, there's a chest there. I'll take care of that in a second. What is that? Oh, you want me to. Oh. But even doesn't do it that way either. Yeah, I don't know. Woo! One bomb, two meter. do down here because I don't understand how I'm supposed to that's not gonna work I think we're supposed to bring that motherfucker down here now and then I'll push him this way and then I can use that height to jump on there that's the only thing that makes sense to me but like, what is it that you do <laughs> You do nothing. Same thing with the one up there. Like, should I move that out of the way? Leave, go around. I hit the other one? I don't know. It's got the same symbol that uh, you see there on the bottom left. That my green wind attack thing has with Hua. <coughs> um. Oh my god, this music, dude. I can't get over it. Can I just. Whoop. That's what I was wondering, if I could clip through it. I don't have to walk around. Because I can't move this otherwise. It's got the same symbol. I think I need to move around. Because then I can shoot it, bring this bitch down. I guess. I need to be able to hit this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to come back around. Thankfully, there's no fall damage. Okay. So I've got that moved out of the way. Maybe now, if I do this, it'll work. Let me see. It really doesn't. Okay, there we go. Do I just need you? Like, I don't really need to hit both of you, do I? There's no real reason. I feel like one will suffice, or is it still too far? Do, yes? Yeah. Okay. 
Oh my lord, this music, man. Can we see you can't manually save, so. Uh, okay, saving game, thank god. Alright. That's, I did not want to do any of that again. Now there's water here. Is it shallow enough for me to walk on? Now you do that, do you go back up or no? Oh, yes you do, bitch. What did we, uh... And what did we learn today? Outside of nothing. There's not shit here. Okay. Yeah, you can't use your magic in the water for whatever reason. Yeah, let me hit this. Alright, that's for that. Are you gonna go back up? Yeah. And what's here? Mm -hmm. Oh shit! Bitch, you took my fruit. You have what I need in your head. Oh, wow, you do a lot of damage, holy fuck. What the fuck? You got some range on you, dude. Oh, bitch. Uh, well, I mean, they, they're just these little, uh, they, they move the pillars, but it's not like there's anything up there for me to go to or hit or anything like that. Anything behind the waterfall? No? Curious, can I jump up here? Like, does this have enough of a slant where I can use any sort of momentum towards it? See if there's like a lot of uh, a lot of smog. The fuck just happened? All of a sudden, we're just gonna. Super Smash Brothers melee. Well, <laughs> oh, there's a cloak. I can give that to that guy that's taking a shit. Huh? So serious. 
Who the fuck did the score for this goddamn game? It's incredible, it just does not really fit. Mr. Snail, Alexander the Great, greetings, fellow traveler. I see you're in need of some healing. I do need healing. Then have I got a solution for you? All right, I'm listening. For a low, low price, you can use my healing well that will cure all that ails you. Well, how about it? Five gold? Why not? I'm kind of balling right now. Over here looking like Bill Gates. So I may as well. Right on. Here we go. It's like the fairy fountain. Enjoy, my friend, and have a wonderful, wonderful stay. Thank you, Mr. Snail. I do appreciate that. Stay in here real quick. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, there's a red hue going around this particular entrance. I wonder why. And I wonder why I just had to heal. Fully. Something tells me. General Windpug. Like General Motors? But windpipes? This is definitely an arena for a boss fight, for sure. I guess we don't need to do a boss fight, alright? Works for me. Oh, what's going on, Skulk? How you doing? Welcome, welcome. It's good to see you. Oh, we can't progress, okay? Sometimes you do have to help people. Whether you do. Is he naked? Is it just me or is that a naked dead guy? Ah, uh, that must be the spirit knight of wind we're looking for. But why is he naked? I'm gonna poke him with a stick. Hey, he's gonna call the police. Uh -huh. Wait, he might just be unconscious. Can't find a stick. All I have is a sword. <gasps> no, don't poke him with a sword. That's so much worse. Do you see stars above his head? That means he's knocked out. Uh. Fine, no poking this time. <laughs> You have to watch it, yeah. I'm glad you saw the tweet. Welcome, welcome. You, you are the one who opened the chest. Why do you say the one who opened the chest like it's got some menacing capital letters? The gondola. I must have the gondola. Now. If this is your way of making friends, I've got a sword who's really lonely. Let us go, my friend. You think you are a tough guy. But compared to me, you know not, my friend. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. He's doing the spinning attack some bosses do in various games. Watch out. Did he get dizzy? Oh, no, he turned into... What he turned into Super Saiyan Chrome. But it, some enemies have impenetrable barriers. You can break them using magic spells or parrying at a time. <laughs> Bird? How you like that? Oh, yeah, bitch. Hoot, 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 hoot. Run, bitch. He's doing his little Donkey Kong shit. Watch out. Run, bitch. Dodge that shit. Oh, I did not dodge. I got, I got smacked. I like those ragdoll physics. Hoorah. He's coming in here with the superhero landing. Not today, my boys. Here we go. Oh, shit. Okay. Here we go. Spin, 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 spin. Do your little shit. And bam. Do that now, little bitches. Almost dead, almost dead, almost dead. There we go. Does he have a phase two? Phase two. Whoa. 
all monsters have an elemental weakness. Can you find it? Well, I only have one type. I only have the air. Oh, shit. Did he bring that back to me? What the fuck is that? Some put, 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 put. Oh shit. Did a lot of damage. Put. Put. He still got. Oh shit, bitch. Boopala, boopala. How do you like this about the boopala, huh? You want the. Oh shit. What happened? What did I do? Am I supposed to hit? Whatever this is? Oh shit. Oh shit, who am I? Yeah, he's using a tiny skeleton. It was like, dude, like you have big enough arms as it is. Why are you? That just seems very ineffective. Yeah, he's got a lot of health on this face. Shit. It's kind of weird. He really throws it back. All right, dodge. And dodge. Oh, I thought he was gonna bring it back to me. Yeah, I can. Oh shit. I like how he goes. <laughs> like, has the potion. He's spinning. He's spinning right round. Right round, right round, right round. Like a record, baby. Right round. Can you stop spinning? His face is taking a while. Oh shit. I don't understand this little ventriloqu ventriloquism shit is going on. Oh shit. And like a ragdoll. Here, don't get too risky with it. He's got the Google out. Almost. There we go. Took much longer than I felt like I needed to. This dance. <laughs> Sorry, got this music. Now the music just changed like Super Smash Brothers Brawl. And he's doing the fucking Zelda item god thing. Rusty, you said that crazy old man gave you a sword and shield, right? 
Uh, yeah. Does it have a weird gear symbol on it? Uh, yeah. Ugh, this could be huge. Hurry back to town, I need to see this. So we're just gonna skip uh, right past the fact that I just fought a giant skeleton who was using a smaller skeleton as a weapon. See, they're aware. They're aware, Deathstrap. Uh, that's literally what you just said. That is almost verbatim. Except they use the word smaller skeleton and you, 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 you said tiny skeleton. So, slight adjective different, difference, but uh, verbatim, pretty much. See, this game is very self-aware. <laughs> What is that? Is that meth? What am I, what am I gonna do with that thing? Hey. Oh yeah, but what about what about this fucking guy? It was a good gimmick. We're we just gonna leave this guy here, naked and alone, knocked out and shit. Sir. All right. Well. Is what it is. Exit arena? I guess so. Yes. Didn't I? Yes. Exit arena? This is not yet. This is yes. A to hit yes. Thank you. Oh my fucking god. Why? <laughs> this game in a beta phase. No, it just came out yesterday. It's a, it's a indie, it's an indie game though. Um, it's a game very clearly inspired by Zelda. So, um, but it's it's like satire, so it's funny. It's it's not supposed to be taken seriously. Um, yeah, it's a game called A Knight's Quest. So, and they, they didn't work very hard on, on the name. If you're interested in it, it is available on Switch. Um, it's on PC as well, but only through the Epic Game Store, unfortunately. But I think it's like 28 bucks, $25, I don't know. You got a health upgrade. Your maximum health will be increased. Your health will be totally filled. Oh, it did increase. Barely. You call it an increase? That was so marginal. Okay. I guess we're leaving and we gotta go back to town, yeah? Let's see what Valele wants. Wait, I'm going back into the dungeon. We're going the wrong way. We'll take this though. Diggity. Why'd the music stop? I think they realized it was too good. And they're like, alright, this is all we could afford. <laughs> the rest of the game is gonna be quiet. Please enjoy. See, why didn't you, why didn't you take me here? If I touch it, where does it warp me? I didn't do that, by the way. That was automatic. Him running into the wall. Okay, music started back up. Okay. All right, so I'm supposed to be heading back to town, I believe. I suppose I could steal some shit. No, sorry, not steal some shit. Wow, I'm thinking of fucking Thief Simulator from yesterday. Um, sell some shit, not steal some shit. So we'll 
go back here. I gotta give this guy the cloak though. So he can he can finish taking a shit. Literally. Is he asleep? Looks like he's sleeping. Don't mind me. I'm not gonna bother you. What the hell is that sound? Oh shit, no. Skeletons dancing too. Everybody dances. Oh shit. I wanna fight right now. Sleeping with open eyes. Yeah, easy. You don't know, he, he, he could have been a, uh, a fish in the past life before uh, he got reincarnated as a skeleton. What the hell is that? It's a weird monster. Too big. Seems like they might get bigger. I don't know, but they're pretty reasonable. Or... What? Apparently, uh, my phone. Because you know this happens at least once every stream. My phone likes to listen in on what the fuck we're talking about. And. Uh, Google Assistant came up and literally was like, hey. He literally said, let's see, and then gave me a link for the music video for Avril Lavigne's Complicated. Now, true to fashion, I will be asking why you gotta make things so complicated. Sandcastle here. I don't know what you want to do with the sandcastle. There's also a, uh, there's another boss key, whatever the hell that is up there. I don't know. Maybe they're just collectibles, but I still don't know what those are for. Yeah, this is definitely a little bit clunky for sure. Yeah, and we're, I mean, and we're playing this because Curb Digital was nice enough to, um, you know, give us a review copy of the game. So I will be reviewing this. And again, that's why I'm, you know, just to reiterate, that's why I keep looking at everything so meticulously. But look at this cute little doge. Cute little doge. Hello, Mr. Doge. Did you find something? Hi. How are you? Can I pet the doge? He's a little afraid of me. Can I pet the doge? Let me pet you. Can I pet you? I said, can I fucking pet you? God damn it. You just gonna keep looking? Get the fuck out of here. Get, 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 the, get the fuck out of here. Go. Go back home. Sick and tired of your shit. Wait, where are we going? That's right, we're going like back, back. Okay, I can't swim or anything yet, so I don't know if I will be able to in the future. Look at all this. Confirm cannot pet dog. Yeah, it's, it's very upsetting. Isn't there, there's that Twitter account that's like, can you pet the dog? Let them know that unfortunately you cannot pet the dog in uh, a Knight's Quest. So zero out of ten. It's looking likely that 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 while well, would be heavily touching on that in my review. You're gonna see three paragraphs on why I'm upset we cannot touch the dog and why the game suffers because of it. You thought the resolution was bad. You thought the clunkiness was bad. My friends, you've seen nothing yet until you see that cute ass dog and you realize you're not able to pet it. Then, and only then, will you realize why the game truly suffers. Zero out of ten. <sighs> 
Hey, Valley, what's up? Rusty, come to my house. Hurry. A lot of popping. Oh, see what I mean? Ooh. Like, the resolution just dropped a fucking tenfold just now. Whenever you get into, like, big open areas like this, that's supposed to have a lot of detail. Ugh. 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 Ooh, and the frames suffer a little bit, too, because of it. Oh, there's one of those little crystal bitches. And then you can go to other... No, I don't want to go back there, but that's cool to know that you can... Where is your house? Where do you leave? I've seen a lot of houses here. Maybe here? Can I help you? Can I talk to you? Sir? Yeah, I think it's a teleporter. Sir, I'm gonna have to ask you. There we go. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know if you realized, but you were walking literally straight into that pillar. So I just want to make sure, you know, that you stay safe. Which one's your fucking house? Is it this one? Can I go into anybody's house? No. Knock knock, bitch. Okay. What about you? No? Well, let, let, me, let me go and help this guy finish taking his shit real quick. Let me go back and uh, give this man his cloak. I found one. Because he's, he's too good to use normal toilet paper. So he wanted something soft and silky. Uh, like at this point, what we, we, how long have we been playing this game? About two and a half hours. So, I mean, this man's, this man's Literally, is that Ronald Donald? Who the fuck? What are you doing? Uh... This man's literally got dry shit in his ass at this point. So... I don't think this is gonna do much good, but hey, to each his own. It's none of my business. Got a quote for me? Yeah, here you go. Yes, great. Mmm... Feels so silky and smooth. Thanks. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. Are you, uh, are you still gonna stay in there? I don't know, maybe it wasn't for his poop after all. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. Man's doing a lot of questionable things. Right when you go into this area, man, things drop like a motherfucker. It's crazy. There's a big ass, uh, wait, where the house is that over here? There's a big ass, uh, key up there. Well, I want that. I don't know how to get you that. Maybe we'll get a glider at some point. Wait, which one of these houses is hers? This one? Is this your front door? No. This, this looks like a. This is a workshop. This wouldn't be hers. Woo! One meteorite. Bodacious word. What am I supposed to do with that? Um. Which fucking house? She's not down here, is she? No.
I think this might be it. That sound. What's that symbol on the top right? I mean, I'm getting a call, I don't understand. Is it right? Use your powers, everyone else go away. I accomplished enough. Valley's house and lab. Now all of a sudden it's running that fucking 60 frames. Oh. So what's the big deal with this sword and shield anyways? Oh. Remember how I told you that the Guardian selected the Spirit Knights? No. I mean, yes. <laughs> well, according to my research, they weren't just great warriors. Well, obviously. I just found one of them knocked out cold. Naked. Aye, aye. I mean, the Guardians didn't just choose great warriors. They also gave them special divine weapons. It's all right here. I'm in the ice. Uh, it's all right here. Uh, I'm in the Ice Knight wielding the Frozen Hammer. Rocky the Fire Knight. Wielded the flame knuckles, and Henry the Wind Knight wielded. Wait for it. The spirit sword and shield. So you think this sword and shield is the one from that book? Uh -huh. Look at this. This is the symbol of the spirit knights. That same symbol that's on your shield. That crazy old guy who gave you the sword and shield. It had to have been Pakume, guardian of the wind. I mean, you said it yourself. You shot a tornado from your arm. So if this is true, that means anyone who uses this sword can shoot a tornado. Want to try it? All you have to do is sort of squeeze your... Squeeze your what? <laughs> you you want to go more in depth? What? Squeeze what? Uh, no. It says right here that anyone who isn't selected by the Guardians will die horribly if they try to wield the Divine Weapons. I guess you're not squeezing anything. Uh, wait a minute. I could have died from using this. Get it away from me. I've got too much to live for. But you didn't. I can't explain it yet, but there has to be a reason why you didn't die a horrible, painful, ironic death as soon as you touched that sword and shield. Okay, but if I was gonna die, I definitely would have died by now, right? Ah. Hmm. Definitely. Probably. Maybe. I've got to look into this more. In the meantime, go talk to the blacksmith. See if he's able to work on that sword. <laughs> Light all animations. Alright, so we're gonna upgrade some shit. Yo, you know what this place needs? A TV. You need a TV, you need a switch. Like right here. What is this? Oh, I just turned her music off. <laughs> Oh no, I'm changing the music. See, this is kind of fitting. There's the xylophones. Yeah. See, this is a lot more playful, a lot more fitting for everything that's going on. See this? Here we go.
Look how happy he is. He's like, finally, some fitting music. Alright, I guess that's all she had to tell me. Let's get on out of here. Wait, what's up here? That's where I came from. What about this door here? Can I access this door? No, there's something in there, though. You can see. Something. What's in there? A lantern? Uh. Can I move the camera over to that side? No. Can I clip into it? <laughs> I think it's just a lantern. As a matter of fact, it's a floating lantern. So, yeah, you're not supposed to go into that room. It's not sitting on anything. It's just there for, like... Decoration, I guess. Oh no, it's not a floating lantern, it's hanging off the, uh, the wood piece. The beam. I don't know, maybe you can go in there, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know. I'm looking too much into it. Anyways. Why, why did she barricade her, I mean, is she being attacked by zombies? I don't understand. Alright, let's go to the blacksmith. Oh, actually, you know what? Yeah, let's go to Blacksmith real quick, and then we'll switch on over to Here They Lie. I just want to make sure everything is saving correctly. Saving game. Okay, well, it's saving it now. So we'll just, we'll, we'll leave it here for now. God, the res just dropped like fucking crazy, man. So unfortunate. I mean, honestly, first impressions is a cute game. It's an adorable game. I don't know if I'd pay twenty-five dollars for this, but it's a nice little game so far, man. You know, the, the dungeon wasn't bad. It was well designed. Um, the, the world is cute. It's charming. You know, it's pretty funny. Uh, it's a cute little game. Cute little game so far. You know. Obviously, I'll be playing more. I'm gonna try. I'll definitely beat it. So, um, you know, and then we'll write the review. But, uh, but yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna leave it here for now for the uh, for what's this game called? <laughs> A Knight's Quest. <laughs> And then, uh, so we're, we'll switch over now to uh, Here They Lie. Uh, that is on the uh, PS4. So, um, I'm not sure if that game is available on PC. I think it's an exclusive, actually. Um, I could be wrong, but... Actually, no, no. I thought I saw it on Steam a long time ago. Am I crazy? Okay, no, okay, so I was right. Yeah, it is exclusive because it is made by... Or it is published by SIE. And then, uh... Santa Monica Studio, actually help develop it so yeah so that's a hundred percent Sony exclusive cool yeah so we're gonna jump into that man um, and then that'll be our horror game for tonight so yeah but since it is on a different system I do have to switch some things around so if you don't mind uh, let's take about five ten minutes uh, stretch those legs a little bit, man. Stretch the arms, get yourself some water, get hydrated. I'll be get everything set up and ready for the next game. So, um, but yeah, man, for now, there it is, man. There is, there's a, a Knight's Quest. Um, I'll, I'll, maybe we'll play more on the stream, you know. I'm probably going to be playing, I'm definitely going to be playing more off stream. I have to. Um, but uh, if we do play more of this on the stream, I'll catch everybody up. Um, but on uh, everything that's... That goes on. The story doesn't seem too deep, so I, <laughs> I think it's something that you guys can easily wrap your heads around. I think, watch. I'm probably gonna do one or two more dungeons, and then it's gonna be like, yeah. So um, the story is basically we found the other spirit knights. I'm calling it right now. We found the other spirit knights. We got more, uh, more magic, and uh, yeah. And then we're probably gonna end up fighting that crystal, whoever the fuck that crystal guy is, by the end of the game. Uh, pretty straightforward, you know. I don't, I don't see too much going into this, so. Uh, but yeah, but yeah. For now, that is uh, a night's quest. So 